I am Jake. Today I would like to talk about another one of my favorite surfers and he is Mr. Rob Machado, the cat. And he is someone that I've always found to epitomize style and grace under pressure. Uh, he had a uh, very successful competitive career. I'm not going to start reeling off statistics of, of what he did and what he didn't do, but you know, I think he was very close to winning a world title there at Pipe against Kelly Slater. And that story is a story unto itself. I love watching Rob surf and I've also had the good fortune of, of surfing with him a few times and he's a friend and I have, you know, seen him in a few different surfing situations and he definitely is very quick. He's got a beautiful style. Anyone who's seen Rob surf knows that. He's just got this just laid back, just crisp, incredibly, you know, precise style of surfing and also to boot he's also got that competitive mindset where he's able to to put it all on the line in a competitive setting and compete and win and he is also an amazing board shaper he is a uh, brand called rob machado surfboards and he shapes up some really cool progressive shapes as well as super performance like the, the go fish he's got a board called the drifter seaside seaside and beyond and a bunch of other models and he can ride all of them and he rides in all kinds of conditions he is also once again uh an all-round human you know he's, he's, a, he's an amazing musician super creative character very laid back and very 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 cool he's got that southern californian kind of thing you know what i mean he's just a dude uh he also is a, a father and a partner and you know all that and he wears it very well and like me uh we are no longer spring chickens but he still seems to just uh effuse stoke and he's still surfing and he's still ripping so i respect rob for many reasons uh, I love his creative uh, sensibilities. I obviously love the way he surfs, you know. If you follow surfing or have been paying attention for the last 30 or 40 years, Rob would have to be up there as one of the most stylish, goofy footers there is, or there are. And also just, you know, his hair is just next level. I mean, pff, the guy has probably the most epic hair anywhere, you know. It's hard to even describe what it is. It's like a fro with like, just length uh, and I respect that greatly to be able to farm hair like that what can I say and that just adds to the whole mysticism of Rob Machado he's a he's a he's a character he's almost like a you could make a cartoon about him and it would be perfect it was like you know did you ever get to watch back in the day you know Fat Albert right Rob would fit perfectly on the Fat Albert show <laughs> with a full funk kind of background kind of musical thing happening and and he'd probably be playing guitar because he plays he rips on the guitar and this is a little bit of him surfing deserts i think this is from the movie the drifter um he had you know some epic sequences at deserts on i forget what board he was riding uh, the biscuit that's right and we actually got a um a copy of it we had it for years ago i don't know where it is um yeah so threading the needle of desert point and you know doing the thing right yeah so stylish just so graceful that's the thing about rob he's like i think i've said it a few times already but just cat like reflexes and you know the really talented surfers make it look really easy and it, it's not and i know for a fact that in the sequences if the board's small and you're surfing solid deserts you know and controlling a board and maneuvering it like that takes a lot of a lot of experience and it goes without saying you know i surfed a couple years ago at g land with him you know and we were all surfing the top and it was like there was this massive people surfing the top and rob was like at the end of the reef on his own just getting just these tubes and afterwards we we're like whoa what, you know what were you doing rob and then we saw the footage later it was like he was just doing his own thing you know he was just down there just just surfing for the love of surfing 
And we all, I suppose, I, I want to surf for the love of surfing too, you know. So, yeah, he's an inspiration. Right on, Rob. Mm -hmm.